This is Alex Peak, who's going to give us a 3D walkthrough of the Internet Archive. Check, is the sound working through it? Okay, so the idea for the Internet Archive is one that really inspires a lot of us. And it harkens back to the Library of Alexandria and universal knowledge. But the thing that sucks is the Library of Alexandria was destroyed, and we only have Carl Sagan's Cosmos artist interpretation of it. So if the archive could be archived, if reality could be archived, then the stories we tell about it could be linked to the place. So we came to the hackathon, we started putting it together, and we started with just a sort of reconstruction of the neighborhood. Brewster emailed us the floor plan, we did a sketch up, and this is like Wayback Machine. These are data points in the development. The next step is we did photogrammetry. It didn't come out very well, because it was just random pictures Mac emailed us, but we did a bit better. We took about 100 pictures, we got a little bit better detail. And then we called in the, the artillery, we called in Matterport 3D scanning and our friend Eric's, and he did this. So imagine each of these sort of symbolic areas of the archives lobby linking to the actual content that's in the archive. So anyone who wants to experience a place could experience the things that it symbolizes and the content that it connects to. And imagine if all these people who've contributed to the archive, if we could see their names, and so Tracy actually created an interactive augmented reality app where you could see their faces connect to their stories and their contributions. And for Aaron Schwartz Day, we wanted to connect to Aaron's contributions. So we decided to feature Open Library and Secure Drop, but screenshots don't really do them justice. They have actual demos, and you can change the world using these tools. So we mostly worked on getting this web browser to actually work. And here's the team that put this together, hiding in the Wayback Machine. <laughs> so this is what we accomplished today. So right now, this is a fully interactive Wayback Machine. And we could go to here, and we could type in Type in Aaron Swartz and get a search result. And we could click on him explaining the open library or anything else and let his own words speak for him through the tool. And I'm going to cut a little bit ahead, and you guys can't hear this, but anyone could experience their hands shaking while giving a live demo <laughs> uh, the content. So this is just the beginning. Uh, what we'd like to do in the future is make this interface fully usable so that anyone could hit the same upload button they do to upload a video. They could upload a virtual reality that maybe won't work on future headsets, just like the software on the old platforms that we emulate. They could upload an augmented reality, like the augmented reality Tracy created, so that even if there was a fire and we lost these statues, the virtual version of the statues is preserved, and that same augmented reality experience would still work. And we think the archive is much more than just historical. It's changing the world right now. So we'd like people to be able to do things like experience live events in the context of the place, even if they couldn't attend. We tried to get the live stream to play so we could get an infinite loop and we'd see ourselves looping back on the video screen through 3D. Unfortunately, they use a non-open codec. So we weren't able to do that. But if we show a clip, really inspiring one. I wanted to get the audio working for this one. Um, this is Chelsea yesterday closing us out, saying something that I think we all needed to hear. And uh, in future, live events like this could use this. Is there, is there any way we could get the, uh, get the audio just work through the regular speakers right here? Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. Can I? Testing, sorry. Um, and this is just a demo, but if you'd like to get involved and help archive other places, experiences, or things about the archive itself, uh, we started a GitLab. And it's gitlab.com slash unityversity slash internet VA archive. And uh, yeah, we'd love to cooperate to archive more of the things that this place and all the people on the internet that it represents have accomplished. Thank you. Great. And I just want to say, too, that we've got 
the files that Tracy used to do her augmented reality project. It's one of the projects up on the website at EarnSwordsDay.com. And um, you can, I can get me now. Um, on the website at EarnSwordsDay.com. And um, um, there's an augmented reality thing that you can play with. There's training data sets for the AI. Um, and there's a lot of different, different sort of little things to do there. And also Tracy is working with me on a VR museum and I'm gonna be working with these guys on it. Um, and we're- What's the website? The web, it's AaronSwordsDay.com. And then it's ai dash four dash ia there it is yes yeah, it's probably not something's not spelled right yeah so it's got dashes for the spaces yeah just the word for not the number four. Oh, sorry there you go there we go perfect so, um, so yeah, so uh, we're going to be working with that. Uh, we're going to be building a virtual museum, and it was really sweet. One of the things I was trying to do was get that going. I didn't even talk to him about it, and he built it over the weekend, so it's pretty cool.